In this video, I'm going to take you through the MetaMask browser extension. I really hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step by step guides. MetaMask is a browser extension that you can download and install on the likes of Google Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge or Brave. The browser extension which was launched in 2016 is a crypto wallet that keeps your data and cryptocurrency secure. And you can connect your MetaMask to a hardware wallet such as the likes of a Ledger or a Trezor to enhance the security of your wallet. Plus, the wallet also assists you in connecting to decentralized apps or dApps which are rapidly increasing in popularity and include the likes of Uniswap, Maker and Compound Finance, to name a few. Plus, they also hope to launch their mobile app Metamask Mobile at some stage in 2020, which will be available for the likes of Android and iPhones, where you'll be able to sync it with the accounts on your desktop in a matter of seconds. So let's jump into installing and using Metamask Wallet. And today, I'm going to be installing on a Brave browser. Therefore, I'll just need to head over to the Chrome Web Store. However, if you're using the likes of Firefox, you can download MetaMask on the Firefox add-ons. And if you're interested in finding out more about Brave, then I'll pop a link in the summary below. But you're going to want to go ahead and add the extension. And once you've installed that, you'll see it appearing as a fox in the top right-hand corner of your browser. So then we're going to want to go ahead and get started. And you can either import an existing crypto wallet or set up a new one. And if you're configuring a new wallet, which I'm going to be doing now, and then you'll be asked to create a password, which will secure your wallet. And you'll want to make sure this is as strong as possible and ensure that you read and agree to the terms of service and click on to create. And once you've set up your MetaMask password, you'll be able to view your seed phrase. And this will be a sequence of 12 words and it will store all the information needed to back up and recover your wallet. And you want to make sure that you keep this seed phrase somewhere really secure, in one or more than one place. And as it states here, you should never disclose your backup phrase as anyone with your phrase can keep your ether forever. Once you've taken note of that, you can click on to next. Then you'll need to confirm these in the correct order. It then states that you've passed the test and that you need to keep your seed phrase safe and it's your responsibility. And it gives you a couple of tips in there as well. And once you're happy to, you can click on to all done. And now we're within our wallet, which we can also access using the icon in the top right hand corner of our screen. And it tells us our account. We can look at our details. And from here, we're provided with our address and our QR code as well as being able to view this on Etherscan and export our private keys. We can view our balance, which is currently at zero, and we can add some tokens from this section too. And you may wish to deposit. So to get started or interacting with any kind of decentralized applications using MetaMask, you'll obviously need some Ether in your wallet, which you can deposit directly if you already have some, or you can buy ETH from Wire with a debit card or you can use CoinSwitch to exchange your crypto. And as I said earlier, you can also use MetaMask to connect to your Ledger or your Trezor hardware wallets. And this is really handy because it means that you don't have to keep your cryptocurrency in your MetaMask wallet itself, which is less secure than the likes of a hardware wallet. So in this case, MetaMask is essentially being used as a middleman. So to connect up the likes of a Ledger or a Trezor hardware wallet to your MetaMask account, You'll firstly need to make sure you have the latest firmwares and have browser support and contract data enabled on your device. And then if we click onto the circle icon in the top right hand side of your screen and click onto connect hardware wallet. As you can see, there's two different hardware wallets that I can connect. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my Trezor and then click on to connect. and allow and export my public keys. 
You'll then be asked which account you'd like to connect. And then you can go ahead and unlock. So with your hardware wallet connected, on the left hand side of the screen here, you can view all your individual token balances. And then you'll view any transactions or history for those tokens. Then if you want to send from this wallet, you can press on to send here, where you can then add in a recipient address or scan a QR code, or you can simply switch between two different accounts. Where you can then select the asset that you're going to be sending. Then you can enter the amount or click onto the max button. And you'll then see your transaction fees which are appearing in here. Plus there's also advanced options for your gas fees. And this allows you to customise the fees which is great, unlike other wallets such as the Coinbase wallet, which I've recently covered, where you can't amend the gas fees. Now, if you don't have the advanced settings in here, allowing you to edit the gas fees, you can find this under your settings. So if we go up to the circle icon on the top right-hand side of your screen, and go down to settings, and down to advanced, in here, you can change this to on. But if we go back to sending, and I'd recommend using this in conjunction with ETH gas station, as this will show you the latest rates and speeds, especially at the time of this recording, where the fees are quite high and it can be quite expensive interacting with smart contracts and DeFi platforms. So from here, you can choose whether or not you want to send from safe, standard or fast transactions. So you can choose a low gas fee if you don't mind waiting. Or sometimes when you need something to go through a little quicker, you might want to select fast. For example, if you're exchanging tokens at a certain price and you need it to go through. But it's great that you can go in here and actually edit the different types of fees that you're going to be paying for your transactions. Now I'm just going to show you an example now. So if you ever send a transaction and you realize that you've made a mistake, for example, if you've sent a transaction to the wrong address and if the transaction is still pending, you'll have the option to actually cancel. Now you will have to pay a little gas fee, but it's great if you've made that mistake. And you can only do this when your transaction is pending. Or if you want to speed up a transaction. So for example, if you've chosen slow and you need something to go through a little quicker, you can press onto that speed up button when the transaction is still pending. And you can change the speed to fast, for example, and it will simply just create a new transaction for you. So that's how you can send transactions within MetaMask. But let's take a look at the settings, which you can reach by going across the circle icon in the top right hand side of your screen again, and going down to settings. So in here is where you can change the currency conversion. So at the moment, the primary currency is set to ETH, which is what our balance is showing us. However, you can change that to fiat, and as you can see, my balance is now showing in Fiat. Then we'll take a look under Connections. And under Connections, you'll see a list of connected sites that you may have. So for example, this may include the likes of dApps such as KyberSwap, Aave or Pull Together, if you've connected them previously. And if you've not already heard of these, then I've got full tutorials for these too. You've also got Advanced Settings, where you can do things such as changing that advanced gas controls. There's contacts in here too. And if we press onto the plus icon, in here you can create a list of contacts where you can enter in their username and address. And this is particularly handy so that you don't have to copy and paste addresses, which can be hacked from your clipboard, for example. And it also saves you making any mistakes. Under security and privacy, you can also reveal your C words. So that was my MetaMask tutorial. I like the Chrome extension and the ability to edit my gas fees. It's a handy wallet to have on board for when you're interacting with DeFi platforms. Although I personally wouldn't recommend storing large amounts on here and use with a hardware wallet as a middleman to enhance your security. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.